The Golden Hoagie, or a rare spiced pigeon hoagie with a side of pierogi. Programming for This is One of Those Poems is a very relaxing hobby. For every challenge, you can invent a broad range of tools, so much so that frustrations never actually occur. You are just taken on great little side quests. And such was the case on this cold day. I embarked on the quest for the golden hoagie. When I was little, I was watching a Van Damme movie where he escaped a French foreign legion. In the scene where he was at the bar ordering food, he started eating a sandwich still in its paper wrapper. What a dumb ass, I thought. You are supposed to take the paper wrapper off. Today, I was messing around with Pi to create a test harness for a windowing system I'm poking at. To make the long story short, sign gently moves up and down between zero and two times Pi, or that's at least all I care about. You feed the sign function an increasing value between zero and two pi, and it will return a gently sloping value between minus one and one. I needed a value between 0.5 and two. Was good with 0.5, but since sign can't produce two, I ended up using multiplication and not really liking my cute test harness idea anymore. This is where, while coding my program, I started thinking about sandwiches and that Van Damme was probably eating a burrito, not a sandwich. There are no burritos where I come from. We only have sausages, pierogies, and this uh, strange, transparent, possibly Baltic sea creature with little things suspended in its transparency. I heard it once being called a Medusa. And the same comedian mentioned that you are supposed to down it with binoculars, which I guessed was code for two bottles of vodka. Though I have never been drunk, or even tipsy, as I don't like alcohol, it being a carcinogen, I see how it would be necessary to hork down two whole bottles of vodka to eat the darn transparent thing with all the little colorful bits floating in it. Ugh. As I finished my programming for the day and only roughly generating numbers between 0.7, not 0.5, and 1.9, not 2, I just didn't care because I didn't get the numbers I needed, so I just multiplied and moved on. I remembered something. I am not much for playing computer games, but I really, really love pixel art. When my bullies got crafty, I skipped school and went to an arcade game. Oh my gosh, I was in there forever, for a semester, and never once did I care to play any of the games, I just wanted to look at the graphics. They were gorgeous all hand-painted, pixel by pixel, 256 color, magnificent works of art. Seriously. Forget the damn Louvre. The true art renaissance was captured in a little smoky arcade room by a lost and lonely train station. In and about that time, I came across Day of the Tentacle on a PC machine. 
Beautiful, beautiful pixel art game. Breathtaking design and animation. I remember to this day one of the tentacles saying, I feel like I could. I feel like I could. I feel like I could take over the world. That's actually how I feel every morning, noon and night. <laughs> the fat boy character in that game was named Hoagie. And I just loved that name. What a freaking beautiful word. I had to learn English word by word, so I became a word connoisseur. Meow and hoagie are some of my most favorite words. And recently, I discovered a pizza place by a cash machine that shocked me. Shocked me, I tell you. By advertising the sale of hoagies. Marvelous. So the game character was nicknamed Hoagie because he got fat from eating a lot of them. I'm sure of it. But here's the thing, I thought to myself as I pushed the code commit in my code editor. What in the diddly actually is a hoagie? Somehow, this Van Damme thing from my childhood had me immediately thinking that it was a burrito-style thing. But I have never seen a hoagie. I have no memory of a hoagie. I've never heard of anybody eating a hoagie, even. So... I'm going to try to guess what a hoagie is. Could it be boiled sausage that isn't just meat, but it is stuffed full of various bits of spices and spicy items, maybe even like dried fruit that goes really well with all the cheese that it contains. Mm -mm. So once you actually boil it and heat it up, it all becomes this beautiful little flowing symphony of tastes when it gets into your mouth. Hoagie feels like it is something really integrated together, but also fine and meant for the sophisticated palate. Hoagie is not something you cook or fry. It is a thing of beauty that you boil in a little pot filled with water. But you know, would a fat little game character yearn for sophistication? And would a pizza place sell such an elaborate and sophisticated thing? Hmm... Maybe not. But I tell you, a hoagie is not as simple as a pierogi. It is a spectrum of taste that must be horked in great haste. It will make a fat kid satisfy their need and then beg for more until they can't fit through their door. It has sausage bits and so much cheese that it will even make a skinny girl wheeze. <laughs> I bet her fanny that some old granny makes it with candy bits and she has no pantaloon that fits. Oh my gosh, I hope it's not transparent, a meal fit for a fat parent. A hoagie is such a pretty word that it has got to taste armagard. I think hoagie is like a sandwich wrap that you are not allowed to unwrap. You just jam it in the mouth and it slowly slides south.
You don't have to chew because it's filled with something like a stew. Or maybe, maybe hoagies are so rare because very few actually dare. What if it's pigeon meat dipped in honey to make it sweet? And like smoked fishes that first smell so nice, the pigeon still has holes for the eyes. Oh, I can hear grandparents say, Yeah, yeah, I remember back in the day, your grandma used to make hoagies, and I'd gobble them down like sweet, sweet pierogies. Until we ran out of pigeons in the street, and there was no more. Oh, ye meat.